Welcome. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a mini Alexa model. It won't be too complicated. I'm recording in Python here. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever you want. But I'm using Visual Studio Code. And um, if you want, let's open a new terminal. So we're going to be importing some stuff. So make sure you have that stuff, your actual IDE, so you can start coding. So the first thing we're going to be uh, importing is we're going to be importing speech recognition because we need it to understand what we're saying, okay? So SSR. So this is how we're going to be referring to. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to import PyTTSX3. Then we're going to go and import PyWhatKit. And this will all help us. We're going to import date time. Then we're going to import Wikipedia. Uh, import Wikipedia. This is where it's going to be using all this knowledge from variables. We need to set them. Listener. Let's make the actual listener, which is our Alexa. SR.recognizer. And this will help it to understand the voice. Then we're going to be using the engine. This is actually what we'll be running. TTSX3.init. Don't worry if you don't understand this. This is just the imports. So the next variable is voices. Voices equals engine.get property. Um, and it'll be voices in here. Again, don't worry too much about it. And then we're going to have engine.set property. Engine.set property. Um, Inside here is going to be voice, and then brackets, voices, one. Now what this is doing is the voices. It's what actually um, how the uh, model is going to sound like when it speaks. As you can see inside here, we're using the engine, um, the engine and the imports in order. To set the property of her, of the voice of our model. So if we put inside there uh, two, three, the voices will change everything. Now we've set our variables. We're ready to start making functions. So we're gonna go down here. This is all our functions. Now we're gonna define talk text. Okay. And inside here we're gonna say engine dot say text. And then here, engine dot run and wait. It will make us say the text. Down here, another variable, and now it's the part where we actually make it um, understand the commands and what we're actually trying to say. So you perhaps haven't seen a lot of these. So we're gonna put try there with sr dot microphone. What this does is a uh, forgot to put the brackets. Um. Oh, don't worry, don't worry about these. With SR microphone, so this, so this is using your microphone as your source. And when you speak, it'll print listening. Okay. And then you're going to have voice equals listener. Listener, remember, our actual model, listener dot listen source. And the source microphone okay then here we have command equals listener uh, my writing stock and equals listener dot recognize um, uses the Z here Google we're going to be using Google and voice and command equals command dot lower okay Wow, how did I manage to spell that wrong? If command now, if now if we say Alexa in the command, if Alexa is in command, command equals command dot replace. Oh my God, command equals command dot replace the Alexa, the Alexa, and in here we have what the actual thing is. And in here, we're going now. We're going to have to obviously print here. You know, remember the error. We have to put an accept and pass. And now we're going to have to return 
command. All right. Okay, the boring stuff is done. This is the main. We're gonna have define run Alexa function. Okay. And in here, we're gonna take our command. Command equals take command. It will call us the. It will literally be like. It will literally. Uh, so this we're setting a variable for the take command. And we're gonna print the command. I'll give you an example. If what in command. Now, make sure when doing this, right? If you go like this, you realize, uh oh command is not defined and that's because it's not really inside the function the function can't access what the actual variable is because we've defined it inside here so what we need to do is we need to make sure it's in line um, with the function itself with the function itself so everything needs to be in line and here if what is in command you get get equals command dot replace what and you got that here there it'll get this all very soon your answer equals command I mean wikipedia dot summary so it gets a um, answer from wikipedia get one the one is the actual um, argument print answer and then you can also talk the answer so you can print it so it'll show up in the console and you can also talk it which means you'll actually hear it show sure it's indented correctly right otherwise this will not work perfectly your else should be talk please I mean, say, please say the command again. Okay. And then whilst, whilst, now here's an important step. Whilst is true, your function, ah, oh, fuck. Whilst is true, it should have, this function should be running. Okay. And that's the important step. Now, if you go. Alexa Please say the command again. Oh fuck. What is an object? Uh, bruh. What is an object? What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, AI, is intelligence perceiving, synthesizing, and inferring information demonstrated by machines, as opposed to intelligence displayed by humans or by other animals. There you go. And it stopped. Um, there you go. Uh, so you can see that it can give you answers. Now if you want, you know, this is, this is more like manual stuff, right? Now here's something that I wanted to show you before. Down here, your voice can change, right? The thing's voice can change. So if I run it again... What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, AI, is intelligence perceiving, synthesizing, and inferring information demonstrated by machines. Which changed because it became female now. So if you write it again, three. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, I is intelligence perceiving. I don't know what the fuck was that, but anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.